Hi everybody, um, it's February 9th, and that means that there's like 38 days until the spring equinox, so... Uh, that is just wonderful. Um, I'm really excited for spring to be coming back around because in the winter time I get fairly like sad because the winter like I, I love my plants and my gardening and my the flowers and just reading and learning about all these different types of trees and plants. It's so fascinating to me all the different uh, genetic variety. Um, so yeah, uh, come with me. I'm going to go upstairs and show you some clones. Uh, that, I, that I took November 16th, so it's been uh, almost three months there, so about 75 days or something like that, so uh, let's go, go upstairs and I'll show you uh, how they've been doing. Oh, and I wanted to mention a quick tip, a little trick for uh, cloning. Um, this works for evergreen trees uh, or broadleaf. Um, really really important when you're taking a clone like if you take a little snipping of a plant um, it's called um, desiccation which is a fancy word for there's too much evaporation uh, or perspiration occurring in the leaf or in the needle then there is uptake by the roots uh, and this can actually happen to evergreen trees in the winter time like if you have them planted out in the garden because if there's cold winter winds uh, and it's really cold, there's not enough, a lot of water uptake through the plant. Um, so that can cause the tips of the leaves to brown or the tips of the needles to brown. Uh, that's called desiccation. Uh, so long story short, um, in order to prevent the desiccation from occurring, um, you put like a bag or a humidity dome, or even you could even use an aquarium uh, or a very, very large container. As long as it has a seal on the top, um, you have to open it every once in a while to let some air flow, uh, so you don't want mold or anything to form. But uh, as long as you just open it every like two or three days and keep the container open for about like an hour or two to let any um, humidity or moisture droplets that have formed on the container or the bag to evaporate, um, and then put the bag back on. So, yeah, uh, I'll go show you the plants upstairs and how well that trick uh, has worked for me. All right, so I suppose I will start with the bad, the bad news, just to get it out of the way. Um, these two, this was a pine, uh, a red pine, I think, and this was a blue spruce. Um, those two did not make it uh, clearly from the browning. I did have them in the humidity bag to help prevent the desiccation, but they still went brown. I don't uh, know exactly what the issue with, with that was, but you know, you never have 100% with plants, especially with taking clones. It's usually good if you get about 50, 60%. So, and with this, we got three, three of the five. So uh, three of them did really well. So three of five, Clara, pardon you. Oh. But yeah, so here we have three plants. Uh, this one is a white fir. This is a blue spruce and a green juniper. So I think that's so cool. But yeah, so the green juniper is looking lovely, looking awesome. I did have all of these five in a humidity bag. Like I was actually a garbage bag, a blue one that was fairly transparent. And I had a lamp, uh, one that's like actually like designed for plants. So. Oh, that's so cool. That, that's a little baby juniper. It's so nice and green. And then the, the white fur is like this kind of glauca blue color. And they have super long needles. And they're soft needles. Like they're not uh, sharp or anything. And I love that. That's one of my favorites of like all time. So, so glad that that has rooted. Like that's rooted for sure, for sure. It's been like almost three months. So, and then a blue spruce. So, yeah, thank you, Ingi, for or Ingrid for the uh, the two here and uh, and the the white fur. That's so awesome. I'm so glad about that. I mean, isn't that just so cool? The colors, the colors of that. I just love evergreens, and like, wow, I'm just so glad that I was able to get those three to clone. 
like to root successfully. Like I look forward so much to growing these out over the years and watching them grow. And you might have been curious, like what are these? I got some, I got some little seedlings here. These, I'm so excited. These are called Cupressus cashmeriana, and or also known as just cashmere cypress. And look how cute they are. Look, look at that. Ah, they're so cute. I actually had like 12 of them originally, but they got, uh, what's that called? When like the little sprouts, um, it's like die off or like, ah. Uh, I always forget that word, but um, where these little gnats, these little bugs, they look just like flies and they lay eggs in the soil and they eat the roots and yeah, damping off. That's what it's called, damping off. But I did actually have like of the 30 seeds, I had 12 of them sprout, but now I only have six left. So hopefully, fingers crossed, these do well. So woo, uh, these are like a zone nine, so they can't handle any below freezing temperatures, but so like they're a zone nine. So they're normally in more tropical areas and they are grown um, in India and Tibet um, as like a sacred tree at temples and at sanctuaries um, because they're a very, very beautiful tree. Um, when they're babies like this, it's kind of hard to tell, but they do apparently get more glauca or more blue and they have very long pendulous branches. I'll put a picture just to show you what they look like when they're an adult and just gorgeous. Like, so I hope these six do well and I got these three too and I got some more in the fridge that are actually stratifying. So I got some tuna sinensis um, and a, some uh, giant sequoia as well as the coastal redwood. So three other types. So so cool uh, biodiversity so happy spring countdown and so yeah happy spring countdown and you know uh try to stay chipper and enjoy the sun every day is getting a little warmer a little more sunny and you know before we know it it's going to be uh mowing the lawn and it's going to be hot outside so <laughs> so we should we should be thankful for the fact that we get this this brief cold period or I shouldn't say brief, but you know what I mean? Spring is right around the corner. And yeah, smash the like button. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, isn't that so cool? This one's one of my favorites of all of them, the clones. So it's for sure rooted because it's been like three months. So Mwah. white fur. I just want to give you something to remember So on that cold winter December You'll have thoughts to keep you warm Till the next year And next spring And the flowers that it'll bring